Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Claire, stay close to Kenny and Kat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. Hey, Lily. Lily. I'm sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. Then what's it like? I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Have you heard anything out of Lily in there? Not a peep. I don't like that. She's probably in shock. She did a monstrous thing. Has Clementine said anything to you about Carly or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. <laughs> that little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her, yeah. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. You worried about keeping her in there? I cracked a window. I sure as hell don't want her out here with us. Hey, Clem. What are you going to do with Lily? I don't know. Something, I suppose. I don't know what we can do. She killed her. Yeah, it, it's horrible. you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods. Just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. Was it you 
Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. Doors closed. That's one hell of a mess. Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit, think they're gone? I hope so, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Looks unopened. I'll take this to catch him for duck. A clipboard. Map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. Get it over there. Looks like it'll get that pin out. Get it over there. Might be something inside. Rusted shut, but nice and heavy. That'll crack a skull just fine. Might be something inside. in the chair. We got him. <laughs> it's 
suppose we ought to look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. Ask Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This horse will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it. What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead, either. Okay, fair enough. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. Thank you. Perfect. He's allergic to bees. Is that right? It's all I can keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. I got no idea how to get the engine started. That guy in the cab probably knew. Yeah, well, he isn't talking. Well, he had to learn it somewhere. Hey, sweet pea, you okay out here? I don't think Doc feels good. Uh, me neither. of papers a bunch of maps about Georgia cities nothing about the train we got a problem what we still got the rest of the train attached to us back there shit I tried to yank the pin out but it won't budge well we ain't going anywhere until it does shit this is it instructions on starting the engine Pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. I have no idea what to do with these. Designed to save lives. Kids might be closed. Doors closed. This 
this door's gonna hurt. Might be something inside. Here, I found these. If Duck's up for it. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. He isn't fussy, you know. What? Most kids, they're really fussy about what they'll eat. Hate vegetables, that kind of thing. Not Duck, huh? No. The most trouble I ever have is making him use a fork. Thank you, Lee. Sure. Definitely pry this thing free, if I can break it loose first. Derailed. Switch. Nothing. Hey, kid. What's up? Hope it's all right I chose to keep Lily with us. Abandoning someone on the side of the road, it's the same as murder. Turning over a new leaf, huh? I'm just doing what I can. It's fine for now, but we have to deal with it eventually. You want to talk about Duck? I'm really sorry, Kitty. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. God, we need some help getting this train going. People take notes, right, when working on stuff like this? Uh, we're smart guys. We can figure it out. 
I'll get back to it. Me too. in pretty good shape for a wreck. There's a notepad on the train. Do you have any pencils or anything in your pack? No, I wish. Maybe in the RV. What do you need it for? There used to be something written on the notepad that I need to know about. Well, if you're not using it, I'd take it. I'm out of paper, and there's all sorts of new leaves around here. Pencil. Sharpen, too. I could have killed you. I had you while you were rummaging around in the front there. I know you did what you did for a reason, and part of me understands. But the other part sees you with your back turned to me and knows I could have killed you. I need to go. Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Duck is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. Ken. What's up? I'm sorry about the RV. Keeping her was my call. This one's on me. The radiator's fucking hosed in that thing, so she won't make it 30 miles. We figure this train out, and maybe it turns out she did us a favor. All right, then. Yep. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good.
son of a bitch. Whatever you did lit the dash up. So far, so good. Now we're talking. Holy shit! We're golden! This thing is loud. So what? We're barreling down the tracks at 40 miles an hour. I don't care about the noise. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. It's all yours. That's the throttle. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose. You touch any of my stuff? Who are you? The guy who owns that stuff. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. Is that your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warm to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. You 
have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> Awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on that? Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Chuck gave you. The taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy, you saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. Some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? I'm sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Yeah, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst, boxcar is safe enough to sleep in. I better get back to it. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. And find anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through. Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Dad, get him. No. Ah, living got him. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's up? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. I'm gonna get this train stopped right quick. Stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. Stop the train. Gotcha, need you, Kitty. Duck will be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick? But we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. Stop the train. Stop it, goddammit! Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? What the hell is wrong with you? You need to lock it up. Be a man here. Oh, you want a piece of me? Is that it? I just want to talk, Ken. Relax. Then talk. How many sons are you gonna let die? Shut your mouth! <laughs> I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. I've had your back. Don't make me fucking regret it. You want to hurt people because you're afraid? Losing duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! Always been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. What do you need? I. I. Katja. 
it's time to... Oh, this is not possible. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Just drift off to sleep, right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know, but we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. I'll do it. No, it should be apparent. No parent should have to do something like this. He's right, Cat. We can say our goodbyes and just let that be it. I don't know. Lee, you'd be doing this family a great service. Why don't we take him into the forest so Clementine doesn't have to see? Yeah. Give us a moment. To say goodbye. Of course. Putting him out of his misery. Oh. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are. What the? No! Ben, take Clementine into the train. Go. It'll be fine. You could do it, Cat. God damn it. You said you could do it. Oh my god. I. I. Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. <laughs> 